Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. I bet you all thought the game was over. Well, gotcha. You couldn't have been more wronger. We're just getting started. And not really, we're just getting halfway did. It's time for the green star challenge. It's on. We've got 120 normal stars. Green stars await the cosmic jewels. They're swarming all over the universe. But first, a message from our sponsor. We saw one Sky Mommy to start the episode. Now here's number two, Princess Pitch. This basically is the game kind of resetting like you would for a game over. So you get five free one-ups. And now Lubba's gonna go ahead and introduce us to our future for the remainder of the game. As you can see, it's everywhere. Sky boogers falling all over the prankster comet realm. All of our galaxies now being infected by lime candy. Ayo! So they call them prankster comets. They're not really prankster comets, but they are allegedly hard to find. If you talk to the two little green stars that are on the face ship, they will tell you that you'll find a green star hidden in a galaxy little twinkling, that sound, will help you find it. So we're gonna start in the Sky Station Galaxy. Unlike the way that I've been carrying myself throughout the game initially, I'm just gonna do these in order. And they don't have any fun names, they're just called Green Star 1, 2, 3, etc. And you get a weird, kind of gross green barrier. That's not my favorite shade of green. Makes me feel a little sick. I'm more of like a emerald green or a uh, forest green kind of guy. It's not a bad color, but I'll tell you, the game kind of just treats it like the level is starting over and over each time. There's no real like fanfare about it, which is kind of weird. If you're observant, you'll already notice that there's something up there. What could that be? But first I'll tell you. One of the things that I lied to you all about, and I'm so sorry, I undervalued star bits. As much as I love star bits, I went against my word, and I downplayed the, the importance of said star bits. As you can see, we're going to go ahead and grab our first green star. That only took, I don't know, a minute? You're going to want to grab a lot of star bits. How many star bits, D-Mike? Well, in order to unlock the final star of the game, we have to collect all the green stars, which we will be doing, and fill up Bank Toad to the Raptors. 9,999 star bits. Where if you're doing the math, if you collect them per star, it's about 80 to 100, unless you don't, if you have none left over, which you might not, I don't know. Depends upon how diligent you were or you weren't. So, there's probably gonna be some grinding. Now, I will warn you, that's gonna take a while, but I won't be doing that on screen. That's unlikely that I would do that. Now, the situation that you're in with collecting the stars in this format is because you just get kind of dumped into the level, almost like you were never in it the first time. It'll just say the same things. Thankfully, they don't always put you at the beginning of the level because that would be a huge pain in the buns. Fortunately, they will usually kind of dip you into the area where you're going to be in relative proximity to where the star is. Like, there's the first one, obviously, that we just got a little bit ago. So the game is not that cruel, but you're going to need to collect a ton of star bits in order to progress. And because... In certain cases, the stars aren't in an area where there are a lot of star bits. You might just kind of have to stick around and explore a little bit more than maybe you'd want to. Because these these stars are really easy to get in certain cases. Sometimes they're a little tricky and, you know, being hidden. Hidden, we'll say. Put that in quotes. I don't have the ability to show that I was using my fingers. Because I'm actually touching the Wiimote and the Ninja. As every good Let's Player does. But, uh, yeah, in general... 
collecting the star bits is really just dependent on where it dumps you into the level and if you're willing to spend the time to get them. Nothing saying that you have to, but knowing me and how frustrating this game can be just trying to collect a ton of star bits off screen, I'm going to attempt a little bit of due diligence and grab it. As I go, I'm going to take my time. Because these stars can be really quick, I, um, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, where's my, oh, I just missed all of those, are you kidding me, game, where's my corner at? <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, there it is, okay, cool. My, uh, my sensor bar on my desk was not in proper position. I mean, it was, it, I should say I was not in proper position. I'm trying to blame the technology, that was all me. Can already hear the... Very next star, it's a Twinkle Twanklin, which is very nice. Okay, that was kind of... That did not go the way I wanted it to, but yeah. So take your time. Grab the star bits when they're available. If you can get... We have a nice amount right now. But if you can get anywhere between 80 to 100 per level, you'll be in better shape. Also, official confirmation, these are called Octumbas. I was right. In your face, anybody who says that I wasn't, probably nobody, but I'll play the victim here. Yeah, there are a decent amount of opportunities for for star bits, so just don't rush through it, I guess. I don't know if there's any here. I think there is, actually. Yeah, and you get some for killing these dudes, so let's reap the benefits here. Kill all of the Octumbas using our power star, and then, yeah, I mean, like, you're kind of doing yourself a bit of a disservice if you don't take the opportunity to... I guess I can grab these lives, I don't really need them, but... Because, thankfully, when you do these missions, there's not really a... You're not forced to finish the level. A lot of the time, the stars will just be kind of hanging out, wherever. And because of that, you know, you don't have to... Oh, I should actually grab this. I don't trust my... I don't trust my ability to grab the green star that's up here without dying. At least not in one try. But we'll see. So up here, you're going to have your Luma friend encourage you to take that launch start, but don't do it. Yep. <laughs> so good thing I grabbed that. I almost died. But we have 118 star bits, which is good. I think I lowered my overall need per star total to like 75, but I'm still probably just going to have to grind. This view is a little better. Is this good? Does this work for you, game? Yes. Okay, green star get number two, feeling pretty good. But yeah, these aren't really that tough. I don't necessarily have a plan for how I want to do this. There's not going to be necessarily four per episode or not. That was just for consistency's sake and made it easy for me to do nice 30 levels or 30 episodes. So that's good. But uh, don't forget, if you mosey around the face ship, you got the... Gamble Cube, which can get you a star bit. Handy. Or, if you come over here, this Luma, I think in between every level, will have some. You can also go inside the face ship and gamble if you want. Spend your coins to get star bits. Get some candy. Alright, so we're back to Sky Station for the final of the three stars. This one actually is a pretty good opportunity to grab star bits. There's quite a few in this one, if I remember, based on where it puts you. Now, once again, going off of muscle memory here, I don't have any sort of um, dedicated inclination. They're already playing the Jingle Jangle. I don't have any dedicated inclination on where these things are, so you'll just have to wait and see. I think we're probably gonna be able to do six today. That sounds pretty good. Now, I think the Bow Wows, you can hit them with your boogers here. And if you do that, or just completely miss. Don't run into them for some reason. They get they get, they don't get uh, exploded when they run into them. But if you do it, then they die. So we'll do that. It's always a good opportunity to grab star bits. You know, I feel so bad for being a big fibber, saying that they didn't matter. But I totally forgot that. You know, you can't really 100% the game without it. So make sure you do it if you want to. I mean, obviously, there's nothing saying you have to. 
You play the game however you want to, viewers. I'm just going to do it my way. Or the Cosmic Highway. And there's coins that you don't need. Those are pointless. But yeah, this third star is based on one of the later iterations. I think it's based on like the second star of this mission overall in this galaxy. So... It, it will it will change. They're not always going to just dump you into the first one, thankfully, but a lot of the time that is the case. Oh, I guess you could just do this. That would make sense. Well, there's the key. <laughs> it's not inside the chest. So, lesson learned. I don't know... I don't think... I could be wrong. But I do not believe that there are star bits in these chests. Oh, nope. <laughs> Immediately wrong. Cool. What is cool, though, if it'll let me do it? Oh, I'm very red right now. Oh, yeah, a piece of cherry candy. If I can get in this before it, before it expires. Yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, so here we are on this big old cylinder. We're going to grab this power star right here. You don't need to, but I want to because you can blow up the giant bullet bills. Each of them will, of course, net you star bits. And you can just kind of do it in like a big old, big old swath, so it's kind of advantageous to just do it. it. I think they infinitely respawn too, so I guess as long as the power star exists, you can grab yourself some. You already have 76. Pretty healthy amount. Pretty healthy amount of candy. A lot of candy a day keeps the doctor away because you'll probably die. So anyway. We'll go inside the cylinder now. Doing so moves you on to the next part. Now there is a ton of opportunity for star bits here. Right here. Grab as many as you can. Maybe come back around. We'll do that. I'm trying to get myself ahead of the game right here because I know that I'm going to need these eventually. So grabbing as many as I can early whoa, will save me. Excuse you, Sparky boy. Nope, I don't know. Ugh. That's the downside of that, too. Because you got to remember that when you crush enemies a lot of the time in the game, they don't turn into candy. They just turn into money. And as much as I love murdering my adversaries and stealing their lunch money in the process, not exactly what I want now. I'm trying to hopefully get at least 100 star bits before I am done here. I don't know if I'm going to have another opportunity. Because I can hear, I can hear the green star. It's coming around. There's the octoon, but wait. If I do the bonus here, I can probably grab it. Let's try it. Who doesn't love a nice bonus? And this is another easy one, too. Superstar kill octoon, but so yeah. If you break it down in the math, you just, if you break the math down, you just need roughly 80-ish or so star bits. I think it's 85, actually. Uh, per 120 stars. Now, you, you have to remember that I didn't get hardly any on the first star because it was just kind of there. So that doesn't count. But this puts us right next to the green star. Perfect. Just try to collect as many as you can. Now, eventually when I do wind up grinding, I will let you all know which galaxies and specific stars that I think are appropriate. There is the one Boulder Bowl galaxy, or like you use the rock power up where it, um, it lets you kind of bounce back and forth on the level. It's kind of like that, that course, that race course. And when you do that, that one in particular is quick. It's a pretty easy way to collect Boku Starbucks, or Buku if you don't know how to speak en français. So here we go. We're in the Yoshi Star Galaxy. We're going to grab these three. And this will probably be where we wrap up. I think six is a healthy amount. You can already see the first star. Pretty convenient. Thanks, game. No secrets here. It usually does when it does the initial fly-through cutscene. It does give you a big hint, so take advantage of that if you don't know where to look. Ideally in this game, though, they're going to probably put them into, into areas that may seem kind of innocuous. They might seem kind of obvious at times. It just really... Oop! <laughs> Jumped the wrong way. It just really depends. But because we know where the first one is, 
We could go right to it if we wanted to. That's the only downside to these initial areas, is it's really easy to... Oh no. Oh! That was a double whammy of no no. It does kind of beget you to not really explore. Like we already know where the first one is. There's just a lot of... Come on. Give me the star bits. There we go. When Yoshi eats stuff, I think he... Does he poop out star bits if he eats these? Oh, he does. So, get Yoshi his, uh... His daily intake of, of, of fruits and vegetables. Very good. I think there is a... Star bit block over here. I don't think we're going to be able to hit our hopeful quota in this level, but I should hopefully be able to get maybe... Maybe in the 50-ish range. You don't want to leave this area, obviously, because the star is right above us. It's where the Comet Medal was initially in the first romp around this star. But you gotta, you gotta be pretty diligent, so... I'm not gonna do this all the time. I'm just trying to prepare myself early on to get in the habit of collecting a good amount of star bits. And that should be good for now. This one's a little tricky, though. Because... Like Super Mario World, you can't just get up here with the flutter jump. Nope. Bye, Yoshi. Oop. Bye, Yoshi. Oop. But how do we... <laughs> get off. <laughs> Come on. Mario, what are we doing here, bud? No, oh, jeez. You ruined the bit. Who do you think you are? Ugh. Well, that was something, wasn't it? Oof. We made it. That's four. And they do count towards your normal star total, so that's how you can keep track. And like I had mentioned before, we're not going to worry about the four per. There might be episodes where I do four, there might be some that I do six. In this case, because any galaxy that has two initial stars and one prankster, those are going to have three stars. So however many the max amount of stars is, that's how many prankster comets it's going to have. I believe that's kind of the rule of thumb for all of it, if I had to guess. But yeah, once again, it just injects you into the same part of the first level. It's not really any different, and I'm not going to string you along and make you watch me grab a bunch of star bits again. Like I said, it's just going to be a lot of grinding off screen, which I am very excited about. Super pumped. It's probably one of the mechanics I think that was invented for video games that um, it's kind of more enjoyable almost than the game itself. You know, if I had to guess, that's a coin I forgot. Don't need to worry about that guy. But we will very quickly migrate forward. That should have been star bits. It's not. And I should have known that it was. That's okay. Is this coins too? It is not. It's a bug. It's a lady buff from Pokemon Gold and Silver. What are you doing in here? It's... Okay, that's a bear. I thought that was one of them one of them things that's trying to kiss us. Did not consent. Get consent before you kiss. Alright, so we got plenty of berries to eat here. This actually... I know I said that I wasn't going to farm too much, but I'm going to try not to. Also, I love that Yoshi because he has boots on. He can very easily and casually walk through the the poo poo goo, which is super convenient. All right, and this guy's gonna try to give us a smooch. Mmm, and give me a kiss, and be my I don't want that. I don't want your kisses, your sweet chocolate kisses. All right, and I'm gonna show you something fun, but you'll never guess where the green star is. I'll show you in just a moment. There's the big old berry. You can ignore it. Do you hear it, folks? Do you see it? It's off here in this little belly button. Boom. Pretty easy. And the reason why I'm not really putting a star total on these episodes is because some of these green stars are pretty rudimentary. They're pretty easy. Simple to find. And if I put myself in a position where there's a lot of easy ones all in a row, it doesn't behoove me to give you a full content episode. You won't get what you're paying for. I don't want I don't want to leave you short changed. So this will be the final one for the day. I don't intend for these episodes to be any shorter than usual. 
I'm gonna try to keep more of like a time limit in mind. I think that the 20 to 30 minute length episodes is pretty healthy, pretty good. This looks like we're gonna get dumped into the same spot again. Some of these stars do start to feel a little bit like Groundhog Day. <laughs> you jump into it and you're doing the same thing over and over again. And honestly, if there's feedback that when you all are watching this, if I don't record too far into the future, and you feel like this format is kind of boring for you, give me a heads up, I'll see if I can mix it up. And maybe I will, maybe I'm just gonna try to get these easy ones out of the way first. Because it is pretty gosh dang boring, I'll tell you what. It is... It's exactly as, as you see it. These stars will be... Same, same, everywhere you go. I will come over here though and grab this star bit block, because it's an easy way to get it, to get a few. That's where you turn this guy into lunch. Yes, beautiful. Might as well take advantage of the opportunities that Sky Mommy has blessed us with. The one downside to the green stars is that as you do collect them, they don't stop existing in the area that the previous ones are in. So stars one and two are still very much accessible, which is kind of annoying. If you accidentally touch that, it'll bop you out of the level. You don't want that. So you just got to be careful. You know what? This seems like... Oh, yeah, we don't get it this time, so we just got to eat them. I think it gives you the same amount as if you killed them with a power star, so... Might as well. What are you doing? Oh, no, no, no. Everything is horrible. What is happening? No, stop. Yoshi, quit. No, no. That's bogus. All right, well, we did get it all. Could have gotten the star bits before it expired. Okay. Happy about that. 50 seems pretty good. Also, I should be careful because I made fun of that thing last time for giving us the, the old smooch. We were actually the ones doing the uh, little licky licky that time. That was our fault, so I apologize. Now, I do believe that star number three is further into the level. Oh, there was more uh, star bits there that I didn't grab. Oops. That's kind of a fun... <laughs> I feel like I remember seeing that, like, promotionally in a, uh, in a video about the game. How do I get the heck off this planet? There it is. Yeah, I do not know where star number three is, but I imagine it would be further along in the level. We'll have to be listening to it. That looks a little questionable. All right. So yes, we will listen. Oh, can I not? Oh, that's lame. Lame. All right, that's fine. But being further into the level, though, is a bit of a boon in doing so. It allows us more opportunity to grab the bits. Once again, you can only grab the bits if you do have someone's permission. So don't be doing that without their say so. Okay. So we will find that last of the green stars and then be on our way to conclude this episode. Decent length, that's what she said, and we'll be feeling good. These stars will start to get trickier though, I will tell you. It's not all fun and games in this fun game. You will have to put in a little bit of, a little bit of muscle. Use your elbow grease. All right, can we just... Stop it. What are you doing? Yoshi, what are what are we doing here, ch champ? I almost said champ and pal at the same time. What are we doing here, chow? You can see it up there already. The flybys usually give you a pretty good heads up on where it's going to be. So, not always, though. They're not always quite as uh, kind in showing you where stuff is, which is a bit of a bummer. But that does kind of increase the... The fun, the replayability of these levels. Some of them you are going to hate. I can already tell you. I know in advance which ones are going to grind the old gears. Based on my memories. How do we... Where does this take me? Oh, there's a platform that... I was being impatient. What else is new? Okay. Ooh! Whoa, that was close. No, stop. Ooh! I clipped my audio just there doing that. Oops. Sorry, viewers. I can hear the twinkle twinkling, though. We have acquired 100. Which is very nice. What is this? Is this the original star? Oh, it was. Don't touch that. Oh, no. I think that the green star is up to the... Where is it? 
I don't want to touch it. Oh, we have to jump off, jump off Yoshi. No, no. <laughs> Everything's horrible. All right, let's try that again. You got to time it just right. Oh, come on. <laughs> I feel like I did it. it. Feels like Super Mario World. This is all those memories of jumping off Yoshi for that extra height, and then you know. Nope, that's not gonna do it. Ooh, there we go. Nope. <laughs> This is ridiculous. I'm hitting the wrong button. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, viewers, I'm so sorry. You're just gonna have to live through this with me as I figured out and unintentionally delay the end of the episode. What am I doing wrong here? How do I... Hold on. Let's figure out how to jump off Yoshi first. Alright, so you gotta hold that down first. And then you, then you do it. I'm probably gonna mess this up, though. Yep. <laughs> I had it the first time around. Okay. What am I doing wrong? Nope. Whew. At least the music's pleasant while I screw this up for a while. What am I... I think I'm just doing... Hold on. Hold on. Let's... <laughs> what am I doing wrong? How do I get off Yoshi? Now I'm forgetting how to do core mechanics. Alright, I think I just have to do a Luma shake, maybe. Might be it. Nope. <laughs> this is a great way to end this episode. Everything was so cohesive and vibrant and bright. No! And I'm wasting my stuff. This is what it takes. This is what it what it takes to be a pro, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that should have counted. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna need Tommy John surgery by the time I'm done doing this. All right, get in there. Now you gotta really get to the the top of the of the flower grabbins. Sometimes. Oof. Isn't this miserable? We'll get it, don't worry. I believe in me, and you guys. Is that gonna let me, what if I do? No, that's not it. I believe in, I believe in me, and us. Oh, are you kidding me? I don't know if there's a way to jump off of anything else or if this is just the only way. I feel like I'm being teased right now. Oh, there it is. Whew. Just an extra, like, three or four minutes of me trying to fail and grab this star. Don't you love that? That is not getting edited out. That's for your health. Ooh, I'm all sweaty now. But it's worth it for the green stars. You gotta risk it for the biscuit. We almost got 100. Very nice. We're, all, we're about a tenth of the way there. Hopefully Bang Toad can actually get his act together. Okay, that's actually pretty handy. Yes. So we would like to make a deposit. We don't have as many as I would like to have, but we'll be about a tenth of the way there, a little bit over it. And hopefully Bang Toad can do some diversified portfolio investing to help us out. Alright, everybody. So I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2, and next time... We're going to get more of them green stars, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!